Really think about this for a moment. We're tying in expect and abundance. Let's look at the first paragraph, just the first paragraph here. The mind is a powerful magnet and as such attracts to whatever corresponds to its ruling state. Expectation dictates what that ruling state will be and therefore governs what corresponds to the mind and is attracted into your life. Expectation can be either a blessing or a curse. But either way, it's certainly one of the most powerful unseen forces in your life. Now, if a person's expecting more, they're going to get more. Yet not everyone is getting more this year than they were last year. With some people, it's going on a downward trend. It's not going up where they want it to go. And why isn't it? Well, let's put that stick person up there again, Scott. Look at this for a moment. Here we are here, our thinking, feeling, acting. And outside here, in our outside world, we are getting inundated with negative information. Now we're trying to stay positive here in our consciousness. We're getting inundated every day we're hearing about how many more hundreds of people have died. Um, how a car turned over on the highway and all kinds of people killed. Um, that was just on my phone when I picked it up this morning. That's very negative information is hitting us. So how do we keep ourselves on the positive track when we have been programmed pretty well to live through our senses, although we know that that's not the right way to go? Expect an abundance. Are you expecting an increase in your income? If your answer to that question is um, how much do you expect or what are you, you know, doing to increase the income? See, if we expect it, we're doing something that's going to cause it to happen. I don't believe a person can actually expect better results when they're not following through with action. It isn't going to happen. You're not going to see that. If you expect better results, you're going to follow through. And I, I called um, Arash on Sunday evening, actually. I just had a feeling that there's something really big that we're supposed to be doing. Something big's coming. And I phoned Arash, and, and he told me he was thinking exactly the same way. But we really couldn't nail it. We couldn't put our finger on it. Now, I think you have to have that kind of an attitude. You have to be in that kind of a vibration if you're really going to make things happen. And there's no point in saying you expect it when you're doing the same things. If you're doing the same things, you really don't expect it. Now, let's take a look at this effortless way because I think this ties in to the expectation lesson. You see, this um, lesson... I wrote this in uh, 1984, 84. Now we filmed it in 88, but it was in 84 that I made that. Um, how many years ago is that? What's that? 30 some years, 36 years. Um, I was not familiar with this piece of literature at that time, The Effortless Way. So let's look at this now. You may already know about Bob Proctor's rags to riches story. This was one guy going nowhere until he made one decision that teleported his life. The change was so enormous, so light speed whipsaw crazy, that he's devoted his entire life to teaching millions of people how to do the same. For 60 years, Bob Proctor has been dreaming up gigantic goals that initially, even to him, looked unattainable in a galaxy far, far away. But he always found a way to navigate to those points of twinkling light, casting the darkness out of his life. 
how has he always found his way? I don't mean his paradigm shifting in a general sense taught from the front of the room. I mean how did he find his way? Conquering old habits, distancing from his old life, moments of frustration, moments of new direction, goal achieving, exaltation, and what he did next, practice steps, missteps, and jangled senses, questioning, analyzing, changing course, lousy times, failure times, and I can't even go on any more times. Because even a Jedi Master can have a bad day. Haven't you wondered how Bob became Bob? Just imagine what his personal lessons can do for the you you're becoming. Introducing the first ever master class with Bob Proctor. Study personally with Bob from his book, You Were Born Rich. Chat with him. Ask the burning questions. Clear away the confusions. Conquer the bad days. Think like the master and go, go, go. Your light speed is just one decision away. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notification. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.